I'm here to give you a preview of the EDB migration portal. The EDB migration portal is an upcoming capability that we will make available for beta in the summer of this year and general availability later this year. The EDB migration portal makes the migration from commercial databases such as Oracle onto open source based databases such as EDB Postgres Advanced Server much, much easier. I will walk you through a live demo of the capability that moves tables, views, store procedures, and the data from an Oracle standard example to EDB Advanced Server, and I'll do that in the next couple of minutes. So let me start here first with giving you an overview of what is in this sample database that I will use. This is a standard sam sample database that we did not invent. It's a standard sa sample database provided by Oracle. It's the HR schema with uh, a number of tables in them. There's index organized tables. There's other tables in them. There is also, um, there is also uh, 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 procedures, stored procedures um, in, that, uh, in that database, etc. So what I will show you now is first how to migrate all the definitions, the tables, the views, the stored procedures, the indexes, uh, etc onto EDB Postgres Advanced Server using the EDB Migration Portal. And then I will show you how we quickly migrate the data from the Oracle database onto EDB Postgres Advanced Server. The very first thing I will do is I will run an extraction script. That extraction script is going to take all the definitions out of the Oracle database organize them into a text file that then will be uploaded onto our portal. And I hope that the, uh, the gods of demos are with me and with us today because I'm showing you all of this live. I'm now going to go to the EDB migration pro uh, portal where, you know, after I extracted the definitions, which I just did, I'm going to use a project that I already created. I will upload those definitions, I will run an assessment, I will do certain quick repair actions um, that are only possible because I actually inserted manually an error or something that we can't handle yet um, into the Oracle definition so I can show you those capabilities on the portal and then I will export those definitions onto EDB Postgres Advanced Server. So I'll use one of my, my standard uh, um, uh, project that I have available here. Uh, I will create a, uh, a new HR schema. I will upload my DDL that we just extracted. You can see here uh, there are all the, the, the sequences, the tables, etc. that were extracted from the Oracle database. They're all available. Uh, they're all available here. And I will now run an assessment. And again, this assessment is running live. Um, and so now the, the migration portal goes through every single construct in this database and tells us whether this construct is going to be supported on, uh, on EDB Postgres or not. You can see here that out of 59 constructs, constraints, indexes, procedures, etc., 58 of them were automatically applicable. Some of them had to be repaired, so our repair handlers uh, changed some of the definitions to... Um, uh, account for some of the, dif the differences between uh, Oracle and EDB Postgres Advanced Server, and one table did not come across. So let me look first at the tables that did come across. You remember countries was a index organized table. Index organized tables don't exist in EDB Postgres Advanced Server, so what our repair handler did here is the repair handler removed both the index organization definition and the compression definition because compression also is not available in EDB Postgres today. It also removed a standard keyword that is used in Oracle a lot to indicate that constraints are actually enabled. In Postgres, they're always enabled unless they're turned off. So that's what the repair handlers did. Um, and I'm gonna go to my error example here to just illustrate how do we handle things that our engine cannot, um, cannot move automatically? So here, the portal tells me that, oh, binary double does not exist in EDB Postgres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, this message here, and I'm going to go to the knowledge base, 
I'm going to ask the knowledge base about binary double. It tells me that, yep, binary double is indeed not supported, so please replace it with double precision, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, and I'm going to run the assessment again, and the system is going to come back and say, well, okay, so now we are 100% compatible. I will now export this DDL. And I've now created the file HR5, which has all these definitions in it. I'm going to go over to uh, 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 PG Admin. I'm going to run a, um, excuse me. I'm going to create a query tool in here. And we'll upload those definitions that we uh, that we just that we just created. I will execute that. And in 376 milliseconds, it actually created for me um, this complete schema with all the tables that we had before and with um, the procedures that we saw before. Now, the tables right now don't have any data in them yet because I have not actually moved the data. So right now, all I have is the definitions but I don't have data yet. Here in my error example, where you saw before that in Oracle, I had used a data type called double precision. That data type is not supported in uh, EDB Postgres Advanced Server. So, um, uh, binary double, excuse me, and that has been automatically replaced with an equivalent data type for double precision. So now my last step is going to be that I will actually move the data from Oracle onto HR5, my new schema that I've created. And I'll just run that. And again, I'm running this live to go from my Oracle server installed here locally onto EDB Postgres Advanced Server. So in a couple of seconds, all of that has run. I will now go back in here and say, okay, let me refresh this and my data has arrived. So I was able to show you in just a few minutes how with the upcoming EDB migration portal, you can migrate definitions, so tables, store procedures, indexes, etc., and data from Postgres onto EDB Advanced Server. We do that using two capabilities. One is the native uh, PLSQL and packages and OCI capabilities, etc., that we have in EDB Postgres Advanced Server that we've developed over the last 12 years. And then also the migration portal, which makes the, the actual migration of the definitions uh, extremely easy and provides repair handlers to deal with any kind of syntactical differences or differences where, where things like an index organized table are just not supported at this point in, uh, in EDB Postgres. Thank you very much.